A new mobile phone app looks set to revolutionize farming in Nigeria. The app, known as Verdant, is based on a farmer's location and provides information on their crops, harvest and soil. The creator of Verdant says he was inspired by Nigeria's Ministry of Agriculture, which launched the Phone for Farmers project last year to help cut corruption within the industry. However, critics argue the fact most farmers don't own smartphones may pose problems. Well, Nasser Abdul Qadir is the creator of Verdant, and he joins me now in the studio. Nice to have a real nerd sitting in the studio <laughs> next to Thanks me. Very and you much. certainly look like one, don't you, with your glasses <laughs> and all. But listen, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Tell us briefly, I know we've mentioned it, but briefly about the Verdant. What is it? Well, uh, the Verdant is a mobile phone app that uh, seeks to be a sort of a companion for farmers. It basically tries to give them an all-round support from uh, pre-planting to harvest and beyond. Uh, this is talking about uh, uh, soil types, uh, crop choosing, uh, seed choosing, up to pesticides, insecticides, and fertilizer application, all the way to harvesting and, and actually selling it off. And how, how did you come up with this idea? <laughs> well, uh, I have always wanted to do something for farming, and I happen to be a creative technologist. I'm uh, studying a master's in Middlesex University here in London. And uh, it's my career, and I thought uh, I could do something with my career to help farming. And, and presumably it is still at a test stage now, is it? Uh, basically, yeah, it's still in development, uh, and I hope to run a pilot project by the end of this year or early next year. Now, th th there are some other similar apps already in use in at least, well, in at least three countries in Africa. I mean, I can see here eWallet, which, of course, is in operation in Nigeria, which yeah. is used as a voucher system for access to fertilizers and seeds. There's Esoko. Yeah, that's which is a, a Ghanaian market information agricultural app that manages the agricultural value chain. And then there's Mshamba, which is Tanzanian agricultural app that supplies information on weather, soil and market conditions. How's yours different? Uh, well, uh, for one, the e-wallet the e is a kind of limited. All it does is offers farmers with uh, uh, text messages or vouchers. These farmers are registered. The Nigerian government has registered close to 2 million Nigerian farmers right now, and they are using the e-wallet system. But it's basic in that it only gives them uh, the access to subsidized farm input. I'm saying I'll give you access to, to subsidized farm input and more. Uh, these are the services that Verdant creates. And then as regards M. Shamba, it's just uh, market information and not intelligence. So I'm trying to tell you that uh, near you using your location, using your culture, that is your festivities, market days, and every other thing that relates to you. So it's not just some robotic thing, mate. It's something that does relate to you. But of course, th this means that you're going to need a smartphone uh, in order to access your app for one there is that uh, i'm actually trying to make it available for both smartphones and low-end phones in the uh, uh you could also access using um uh, text messages we have seen how right. how text messaging applications have come to stay in africa i mean yeah you can and of course the reason why that is important is that most farmers can't afford a smartphone there is that but uh you may have heard about the farmers uh, phone for farmers initiative which the government the nigerian government embarked on even though uh uh, it comes with a lot of controversies, but mm. it's, uh, it's, I believe it's underway. And either way, I'll, I'll bank in on both smartphones and low-end mobile phones. So, so why, a, why a sort of farming app and not a video game? <laughs> I mean, you live in London. Oh, oh. One would have thought that would have been considerably sexier, if you like. There is that, uh, and I believe a lot of other people are doing that. But we have to uh, consider the, the challenges and, and other things that we are being faced with. If everybody went on to do the entertainment, who would do this? Uh, right now, there is there is a huge boom and spring of a whole new ecosystem of technology in Africa, uh, being cheerleaded by young people. And, uh, and I want to be at the helm of that with something useful and memorable for not only Nigeria, but Africa at large. Well, I have to say I'm, I'm hugely impressed. Has there been any reaction at all to this from the Nigerian government? Uh, not yet, but uh, the Nigerian media has, uh, has taken a, a, a recent story. I recently won a competition uh, um, called the Enterprise Challenge, organized by Virgin Atlantic and, and the British Council. Uh, and I got a chance to be mentored by Sir Richard Branson. 
uh, this is the same idea which he, he, he welcomed and received and has given me valuable advice on how to go on with it. And, uh, so what did he tell you then? <laughs> how are you going to sell it? Because really the bottom line is that you're going to have to, exactly. you're going to sell it, aren't exactly. you? I mean, exactly. Tell, tell us about how your, what your marketing, your great marketing strategy for the verdant is going to be. Well, I intend to get actual rural farmers to use it and I intend to show the world that this could in fact happen and it is in fact happening just not with agriculture and not in Nigeria and that it's possible. And uh, I believe that will go a long way in, in promoting it because once value is seen, uh, as everyone knows, there is no denying. So is it fair to say that the verdant revolution is imminent as, as, as imminent. far as farming goes <laughs> in imminent. Africa? Truly imminent. Uh, and uh, all the conditions are set for it. I mean, there is the mobile boom, and there's the farmers, there's the Nigerian government mobile initiative, and there's the, the enthusiasm of the Nigerian farmers too. And there's, of course, the fact that, that Nigeria, not just Nigeria, but the whole of Africa is making agriculture a major part of their, their poverty alleviation strategy now. Yeah, and it is needed for the world at large, to be sincere. I mean, look at the environmental challenges and the food crisis that we are facing. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's really timely, I believe. Okay, Nasser Abdul Qadir, we wish you all the best with the verdant, and I'm looking forward to having a chat with you when you become <laughs> desperately rich in the next few years, and uh, we can talk about it again. Thank you very much Thanks indeed very for coming much. in. Thank you very much.